I've dedicated my life to since December 14th is uh, about Jesse's message. Jesse wrote three words on our kitchen chalkboard uh, shortly before he died. And he's six years old, remember. Um, nurturing, healing, love. They're, they're not something that a six-year-old normally says. They were phonetically spelled because, of course, he was just in first grade and learning how to write. But those three words are actually in the definition of compassion across all cultures. And when you break down the meaning of those three words, nurturing means loving kindness and gratitude. Healing literally means forgiveness. And love is compassion in action. And when you practice those three values actually in that order, that is choosing love. And that is a very simple equation for healing out of any kind of circumstance or decision that you could be in. So I just want you to know how incredibly meaningful this is to, to us. Now, I so appreciate it. I can't really express in words. In fact, probably one of the best things that was ever said to me is there are no words right so there are no words either for me to describe my gratitude for all of you and for everything that you've done lisa and rob and and all of the volunteers and everybody here that helped it's just you know it's uh fills fills me with love and i'm so thankful we all remember the fateful day here in Connecticut that brought tears of sorrow. And it is very appropriate that here in Portland, we're turning those sorrows into a celebration of life. And that the tears that we shed are, are now a fountain. Thank you very, very much, Lisa, where we're going to experience love and hope and, and solace. I so knew from the depths of my soul that I could not give you my sadness, but I could give you my love. The next day I woke up as an artist and I had such a clear sketch in my head. The six iris flowers represent the adults. I knew I wanted cone flowers for the children. I knew I wanted a quartz base and of course water. <laughs> water is purifications, blessings and reflection. Literally, I just randomly started calling people, and the first person I called was a welder, Phil from Nutmeg Welding. Come to find out, one of his closest buddies, Ralph Davina, lost his daughter, uh, Rachel, who was a teacher there for three months. Everybody I called had some kind of a connection, and everybody referred me to another person. And without hesitation, every single company came aboard every single company without hesitation above and beyond when i went up to pick out the quartz base not only did i get a base i got three benches that's how it's been we're donating these stones to make the monument quite a group effort they're putting in over here it goes to show you a little community to support what you can do you know togetherness and working together so it's nice to see we tend to work together on projects and this is just one that we've come together from, from different companies, competing companies. This is the true meaning of compassion because there are two components. The first component is identifying with someone's pain. And the second component, this is the component that I learned about after December 14th. That's when you actively do something to help ease another's pain. 525,600.